I wanted to introduce you to our recipe collection at spicedbyrachelsweet.com. Now you might be wondering, why do I need to be introduced to a recipe collection? Why can't I just go online and search for what I want and then make that? Well, of course you can, absolutely. These are just some things that I thought you might find interesting and maybe even helpful. One of the first and most obvious things that you'll notice is that none of our recipe photos are staged and that's on purpose. There's no white kitchens featuring perfect dishes topped with a single parsley leaf. That just isn't how most meals are going to look for the average home cook, or at least the ones that I know. And my reasoning for that is that when someone looks at a perfect photo in a perfect kitchen, it creates a sort of unconscious association with that photo. And I worry that might be a bit unfair. I want you to be able to imagine each recipe that I create exactly as it might be served in your own home. In fact, it reminds me of McDonald's commercials where you see a perfect burger, but when you actually receive it, it's squished and sad looking and nothing like the ad. I don't want there to be a significant difference between what you see and what you get, especially if it results in disappointment. I create all of my recipes to be as efficient as possible. I don't love doing a million dishes, so I make sure my recipes don't use up a million dishes. I try to be very intentional about what's realistic for a weeknight meal and what's not. I'm cutting chicken for a cold salad recipe. Sometimes when I read the ingredients for an easy recipe, I see things such as cooked cubed chicken listed. And I don't know about you, but that's not usually something I have on hand. So when I write my recipes, I like to include that step so that you know exactly what you need to do in order to prepare the meal. I purposely do not use hard to find ingredients in my recipes because I want you to be able to get everything you need from your regular grocery store. I'm also mindful of the amount of ingredients needed to make each recipe. I know that whenever I see a long list of ingredients for a recipe, my eyes glaze over and I read, scan it, and quickly decide it's not worth the hassle. And I don't want that same experience for you. I'll be the first to admit that our recipe collection is not gourmet. And hey, maybe not all of them photograph well, but they were meant to achieve healthy meals for you and your family without a whole lot of time invested in preparation or cleanup. I value feedback in all forms because I truly want to help bring you healthy meals that you can enjoy on a routine basis. So if there's something that's not working for you, I'd love to know about it so that I can fix it. And if there's something that is working for you, I'd still love to know about it so that I can do more of that. 